Do you guys remember the scene in American Dad where Roger is telling Haley how much he loves his chocodiles? Oh my god, these chocodiles, these chocodiles, Haley, oh my god. Well, anyway, that's how I feel about my Sigma brushes. <laughs> when I first opened them, I was thinking to myself, Oh my god, these Sigma brushes, these Sigma brushes, you guys, oh my god. <laughs> These Sigma brushes, oh my god. These Sigma brushes, oh my god. <laughs> a few months back, I bought the Sigmax Essential Kit, the one that has 10 brushes, and did an unboxing video, uh, which I will link down below in the About section description box. Well, today I finally have my review on them for you guys, and I have my iPad here that I might need to refer to. I have a lot of notes on here. The first thing I'll say is that I love the brushes and I feel like you can do most anything with them. I think they work uh, with makeup of virtually any consistency, um, including powders, but for me personally, they're not my first choice when it comes to powder. I still like natural hair for that. Why don't I go ahead and show you the brushes? Um, so we'll start with... I just want to show you first how dense and soft these are. They have to be the softest brushes I've ever used. Let's see if you can see how densely packed it is. Before I use any makeup brush, I'll wash it first. And that's usually when you'll have the most shedding, if you have any at all. And I had virtually no shedding with these, so that's really good. The filaments are made from Synthetic Sigmax, which is a registered trademark. Um, so that means they're either made from Taclon, which is a form of polyester, or nylon. The brushes in this kit were each designed for a specific purpose, but you can really use them any way you want. So I would say experiment with them and see what works for you. Um, one of the things that people have found, and I've gotten on the bandwagon, is uh, that the F86, the tapered kabuki, is actually really good for blending out concealer. I was using the small one. You'll see if you watch one of my previous videos. I was using the small one, but I'm actually a convert now to the, using the bigger one for concealer. So I'll show you each one individually and tell you what they were designed for. The most famous one, it's actually their number one selling brush, is the Flat Top Kabuki, the F80. And this is what I use for um, foundation, liquid foundation. I don't use powder foundation, so I haven't tried it for that. Um, and on their website it says that the Flat Kabuki is for the application of liquid or cream products to flat areas of the face, such as the forehead and cheeks but uh, I use it everywhere. Next up is the Round Kabuki, the, the F82. And that was designed to blend mineral products onto the skin. That's cool. See, I never read these before, so I'm learning something today. <laughs> Next up is the Angled Kabuki, not to be confused with the Flat Angled Kabuki. This is number F84, and it was designed to buff cream blush or bronzer onto the skin. I think you could use powder with it too, because I've used this brush with powder, and I think it works well. And next up is the Flat Angled Kabuki. Let's see. Number F88. Um, this was designed to blend foundation easily onto hard to reach areas of the face. Angle fits all areas of the face seamlessly. Works especially well on cheekbones and contours of the nose. Okay, I haven't tried it for that. And the last of the big ones is the F86, the tapered kabuki. This is the only one that I used before this video. It was so hard for me not to use this one because, you know, for my foundation, but uh, I used a BB cream today and applied it with my hands so that I would, it would be clean when I showed it to you. So this one has some, actually it has concealer on it. And uh, here is what it looks like up close. Uh, this one, this one was designed to apply cream and liquid foundations onto the harder areas to reach contours of the face. Okay. 
And now on to the precision brushes, the small versions of the big ones. They're all the same uh, type of brushes, but one's big and one's small. So let's see. First up is the um, P80, the Precision Flat. So it's the same as the F80, but it's for precision work, so they call it P80. This one was designed to stipple concealer on sunspots, blemishes, and other small imperfections. The next one is the Precision Round Brush, the P82. And this one was designed to apply eyeshadow base or primer onto the lid. Then we have the Precision Angled P84 brush. And this one was designed to apply product to areas such as the sides of the nose and the hollows of the cheeks. And then we have the Precision Tapered P86 brush. And this one was designed for exact placement of concealer in harder to reach areas such as around the eyes and nose, chin, and around the mouth. And finally we have the Precision Flat Angled Brush, the P88. And this one was designed for precise application of concealer products anywhere on the face. Works particularly well around the eyes and nose. The brushes came with a pamphlet. And it opens up. And what's cool is it has pictures. I don't know if this is ever, this must be every brush that they have. Um, and it has really clear up close pictures of each brush so you can see exactly what they look like. Um, you can imagine exactly what they would look like in person. And it tells you the number and what they're called and, and it describes what it was created for. So um, this was very helpful. And here's a picture of the kit that I got. To get the brushes, you don't have to buy the Essential 10 Brush Kit. You can buy them individually or um, they sell the small ones as a kit and the big ones as a kit, um, the 5 and 5. Um, so my recommendation as far as if you can only afford like one or two, I would say get the um, F80, the Flat Kabuki which you've probably seen this in a million um, YouTube videos, and the um, F86. Those would be right, my recommendations if you could only afford one or two. The brushes come with brush guards. There's uh, big ones and small ones here. When you order uh, more than $30 worth of products from Sigma's website, you get a free gift. I got an eyeliner brush the E05. It's made for gels and uh, creams, so I've never used it because I don't have any gel or cream eyeliners right now. So I can't tell you how it is, but I didn't want you to think that I forgot about it for this uh, review. Something that I thought was kind of funny um, about the brushes is that they have stickers that say made in China on them, so they're obviously made in China. But then I took the sticker off and it says USA. <laughs> <laughs> they are a USA company, but apparently the brushes are not made here. I find them easy to clean. They don't absorb any product, um, but because they are pretty dense, the product can get stuck in here a little bit, but it does come out very easily. After I wash them, I actually dry them like this. I set them down on a, a towel or a paper towel and lean them against something and I really like um, the way it dries like that. But don't try it with natural hair because it will warp the hair. Um, but for some reason the uh, synthetic fibers retain their shape even, even when you uh, dry them like that. But just be careful when you do it. Um, you know, just really, like actually this one, I, I set it down on a tissue and it dries just like this. <laughs> But uh, the other ones, you know, none of them will stand up like that. But So I'll just like lean it, you know, I'll put this down on the paper towel or the towel and I'll just lean it against something so it, it doesn't lean, no, there's no pressure one way or the other, too much pressure. It'll just be evenly distributed on the surface. Anyway, that's how I like to do it. <laughs>
I would say wash them just as you would any other makeup brush but um, I find that they take a long time to dry. Now Sigma sells a product called Dry and Shape and first you start out with it flat and you wash your brushes and you slide them into these um, little loop things and then when they're all in there you, you stand it up and it makes like a circle and it stands up and the brushes, you know, obviously the brushes are facing this way and um, supposedly it dries them in four to six hours but uh, you know, so I'm kind of skeptical of that but I've never used it um, so I do, I find that they do need overnight to dry. The company has authorized retailers all around the world actually but uh, chances are you'll be buying them online from them directly. Sigma makes a lot of different types of brushes. They have synthetic ones and natural hair ones. Um, they also sell makeup and they just started selling um, brow kits. They've sold certain brow products before but now they have new brow products and they have um, kits too which they look pretty good. So the Sigmax Essential 10 brush kit that I bought costs $146. I don't have an affiliate link or coupon code for them because I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but they have over 10,000 people online who are affiliated with them, whether they're bloggers or YouTubers. Um, so chances are you already watch a channel of someone who is an affiliate of theirs and will have a link and a coupon code in their description box if they have um, pretty much any video that they make they usually put the uh, the uh, link down below with the coupon code so just try to um, find one of those coupon codes before you uh, head over to sigmabeauty.com and, and buy anything I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can say about the brushes. Um, so basically I love the brushes. They do really give an HD flawless finish. Um, they're super soft, super fine tips. Again, they don't absorb product because it's uh, synthetic filaments. Um, what else? And they just like the F80, the, their number one selling brush. The flat kabuki does, it just blends in foundation flawlessly. If you've seen uh, my other videos where I've applied foundation, you can, you can see how well it buffs it in. Um, I would say f what I do personally is I'll actually put the product right on the brush. I know probably most people don't do that. They probably dab it on. But I have dry skin, so if I just dab it on all over my face, um, it'll just dry. Like, it'll just absorb right into the skin on that one part that I touched to the skin so I will put the product right on the brush and first I'll kind of stipple it around and then I'll buff it out and that seems to work really well I think that's everything I have to say about the brushes if you have any questions um, Sigma's website sigmabeauty.com has a lot of information on it if um, you have questions about my experience personally with the brushes, feel free to leave a comment down below and ask me. Um, I hope this review was helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I almost forgot to mention why I haven't uploaded a video in a couple of weeks. I've been having severe technical difficulties with the software that I use to edit my videos. I was using the old version of iMovie, which I loved, and um, but then it started getting really glitchy on me, so I had to buy the new version, which is very different, and I've had to just relearn how to do everything, but I think I have it all figured out which I'm really happy about. You have no idea. So thank you again for watching. Sigmax. Okay, no, let's not do air quotes. <laughs> and this one was, wait, what did I say what the first one was? Nope, I didn't say what the, okay. <laughs> okay. What else can I say about the brushes? Whoa, Nelly!